If you are deciding between Freestyle Libre 3 and Dexcom G7, don't click away. This is the only video on YouTube comparing these two continuous glucose monitors, made by someone who actually used them and tested them head to head in real life. I've been using these two bad boys for the past six weeks and in this video I'm gonna tell you what they have in common, where they are different and which one I think you should use from now on. During my test I found a few unexpected things but more about that in a minute. First we need to talk about what these devices do and what they have in common. They are both great tools to continuously monitor your glucose levels without pricking your fingers. You simply place a patch with a tiny sensor on your skin and both of the sensors automatically feed all your glucose data to your receiving device via Bluetooth. You don't need to do anything. All your numbers and all your glucose graphs get automatically saved on your device. Now one thing you absolutely need to know when you are starting on one of these devices is that these devices do not actually measure your blood glucose levels. That's what they're supposed to do, no? Measure blood sugar. CGM sensors read your glucose levels from the interstitial fluid, which is the body fluid between your blood vessels and cells. They don't measure your actual blood sugar, but they give you a very good indication of what your blood sugar is. Just like it's shown in this graphic, blood glucose always leads sensor glucose. Sensor readings are slightly lagging behind the blood readings, as glucose always moves from blood to the interstitial fluid. The good news is that with both G7 and Libre 3, the lag between blood readings and sensor sensor readings got shorter compared to their predecessors. G7 and Libre 3 provide more real-life glucose information. In my personal experience, the lag is really no more than 5 minutes. Now let's talk about differences between the G7 and the Libre 3. In total, I found eight differences. Difference number one is quite obvious, it's the sensor design. Both of these sensors come in very small compact packages. Libre 3 has a bit smaller box and applicator, but overall the packaging is fairly comparable. When we look at what exactly is in each package, we'll see that Dexcom G7 comes with a free overlay that you can place over the sensor to keep it secured. Freestyle Libre 3 doesn't come with an overlay. With the Libre 3, you simply unscrew the lid, place the applicator over the side, push the top of the applicator down to apply the sensor and then gently pull the applicator away. You need to actively push on top of the applicator to get the part of the sensor that's actually reading the glucose data under your skin. And because you're actively pushing on top of this applicator, you're fully in control of the insertion movement, which doesn't hurt at all, but I realized being in full control of it might be a bit uncomfortable for some people. That's why I kind of like how Dexcom made the G7 applicator. Here you also unscrew the lid and place the applicator over the side but then you just press this button here and the sensor gets inserted kind of on its own. By the way both sensor filaments come in under a 90 degree angle. The G7 applicator with this grey rubber component also looks a bit more premium than the plasticky looking Libre 3 applicator. Nice work Dexcom but honestly who cares about how the applicators look? I think most people care about how the sensors look because that's what we wear on our body 24-7. Both of these sensors are really tiny and super light. When I put them on my arm, I immediately forgot they were there. The Libre 3 is smaller and sleeker when sitting on my arm next to the G7. And although the difference inside is not huge, it's definitely easier to bump into something with the G7 and knock the sensor off. And it sucks when that happens. The sensors also have slightly different colors. Libre 3 is matte white and Dexcom G7 is slightly grayish. By the way, let me know which color you like better. Both both sensors have a little hole in them, which apparently is used to regulate temperature and humidity around the sensor. But who knows what it's really there for. They are both water resistant, so it's perfectly fine to shower or even swim with them. Libre 3 claims to be water resistant for 30 minutes and Dexcom G7 claims to be water resistant for 24 hours when submerged under 8 feet of water. Now although I like the look of both of these sensors a lot, I think Libre 3 looks a bit better. It's small smaller, sleeker and a bit more convenient to wear, at least for me. So I give this one to Freestyle Libre 3. Difference number two, approved sensor sites and the site change process. Libre 3 is only approved to be used on the back of your upper arm. With Dexcom G7 you can also use the abdomen and if you are below 18 you can use the upper buttocks. So the G7 gives you a bit more flexibility to decide where you want to place the sensor. Many people use different sites, not only the ones that are officially approved, but that's a topic 
for another video. Now to be able to show you which sensor is better when it comes to the side change process, you need to understand a few basic terms. First, sensor wear time. Sensor wear time simply tells you how many days you can use your sensor before it stops working and before you need to replace it with a new one. The wear time of Dexcom G7 is 10 days and the wear time of Freestyle Libre 3 is 14 days. I believe that Dexcom G7 is trying to prolong the wear time of the G7 but it's not quite clear if and when that will happen. So right now the Libre 3 lasts 4 days longer. Now Dexcom G7 gives you a special bonus, something that's called a grace period. What it means is that after you've used your G7 for 10 days, you can keep using it for another 12 hours before it really stops providing you readings. And that's exciting because if your G7 expires in the middle of the night or in the middle of an exciting date, you don't need to do the side change right away. You still have 12 hours to enjoy your time in bed or your time with your date or both if you can combine that and do the side change in the morning. Next term we need to understand is the sensor warm-up time. Sensor warm-up time simply tells you how many minutes it takes for the sensor to warm up after you applied it under your skin. In other words how many minutes you need to wait before the sensor starts giving you your glucose numbers. The warm-up time of Dexcom G7 is 30 minutes and the warm-up time of Freestyle Libre 3 is 60 minutes. So Dexcom G7 sensor takes a half an hour less to warm up. And Dexcom didn't stop here. Another feature of the G7 is that the warm-up time starts automatically as soon as you apply the sensor. The clock starts ticking as soon as you press the button of the sensor applicator. So it never lasts more than 30 minutes. With Freestyle Libre 3 you need to not only apply the sensor, you also need to scan the sensor with your phone to activate the sensor. And only when you scan the 60 minute timer starts ticking. So if you forget to scan your Freestyle Libre 3, the warm-up period won't be started and you will have to wait even longer. The warm-up period had always been annoying because I didn't get my readings during the warm-up time and it always caused a gap in my glucose graph. And you still get this gap with Freestyle Libre 3, but with Dexcom G7 you might be able to completely avoid it. Let me explain. If you apply a new G7 sensor while your current G7 sensor is running, the warm-up time on the new sensor will start automatically, even though you are still receiving data from the old sensor. You wait 30 minutes and then simply switch from the old sensor to the new one in the Dexcom G7 app by entering the four digit code printed on the applicator of the new sensor or scanning the QR code. If you follow these steps you won't miss any readings at all and you won't have a gap in your glucose graph. It's awesome! With Freestyle Libre 3 the gap simply can't be avoided. Even if you were to apply a new sensor while the old sensor is still running, you're not able to activate the new sensor and still receive the data from the old sensor while the new sensor is warming up. Now having said all this you probably won't be surprised that when it comes to side change Dexcom is the winner for me. Difference number three sensor adhesive. Super important topic because it doesn't really matter how long the lifetime is if your sensor peels off during your first shower, right? I had always liked the Freestyle Libre adhesive. It's worked really well with my skin and it never really peeled off. And I can report that although the Libre 3 adhesive is a lot smaller than it was with the previous Libre sensor, it still holds really well even in extreme conditions. Dexcom adhesive is simply not as strong as Libre's. It always starts peeling off after a few days of wear. And so it's really helpful that Dexcom gives us this overlay because the overlay might solve the problem for many people. But anyways, Freestyle Libre's adhesive is simply better. Now having said all this, I have to admit that I knocked both the G7 and Libre 3 off due to my stupidity. Both of these adhesives are super small, so if you're not careful and you bump into a door handle, into a shelf, or if you're not careful when taking your t-shirt off, you will end up knocking it off. And that's why I like to cover both of these with an additional overpatch, especially on days when I'm active and running around all day long. The patches I used most of the time are skin grips. And I'm very happy that Skin Grip kindly sponsored this video and offered 10% to all of you when you use code TYPE1TALKS. Difference number four, receiving devices and integration. And I realize this is an important and often overlooked topic because different users like to view their data 
on different devices. What is really cool about the G7 is that it is designed to be paired with up to three devices. You will be able to view your glucose information and graph on the G7 phone app, on your G7 receiver, an insulin pump, or in the G7 watch app. However, right now the G7 only works on the Dexcom G7 app and the receiver. It doesn't integrate with any insulin pumps and it doesn't send your data directly to Apple Watch just yet. This should happen sometime in the future. For Freestyle Libre 3, there is no receiver. It can be paired only with your Libre 3 phone app at this point. Unlike Dexcom, Libre 3 doesn't let you view your data on your watch. There is no watch app available whatsoever. Libre 3 should also be able to integrate with insulin pumps in the future because it does have the ICGM status, but the timeline is not clear. One bright exception is the MyLife Ipso Pump. It's first insulin pump integration, it's first commercial closed loop. Libre 3 now integrates with this pump in Germany. More countries are to be added in the future. By the way, the Libre 3 closed loop with MyLife Ipso Pump and the CAMAPS algorithm is definitely something I want to test in the future. But overall, when it comes to integration, I have to give a point to Dexcom because they have clearly achieved a lot more in this area to date. Difference number five is accuracy. So which of these two bad boys is more accurate? Let's have a look. If we want to compare the accuracy using a scientific approach, then we need to look at the results of clinical studies performed on large groups of users. The common benchmark these studies use is MART, mean absolute relative difference. The lower the MART is, the more accurate the CGM is. Freestyle Libre 3 has a MART of 7.9% and Dexcom G7 has a MART of 8.2%. So Libre 3 is statistically a tiny bit more accurate. But based on my experience, I'm happy to report that both Libre 3 and Dexcom G7 have excellent accuracy. I have absolutely no complaints and I can't really say that one is more accurate than the other. Keep in mind, this is just an anecdotal, real life experience of one user, aka me. You might see completely different results because everyone is different. The only issue I really had was that Dexcom G7 was giving me extremely low glucose numbers a few hours right after the application, just like the G6 did. But I found an easy way to fix it. And no, it's not calibration. Let me explain. I simply apply a new G7 sensor once the grace period on the old sensor starts. Now I still have 12 hours to go on the old sensor and I let the new sensor settle under my skin for 6 to 8 hours or even 12 hours and only after that I switch to the new sensor. And it works like a charm because the numbers at that point are already extremely accurate. Now one thing to note here is that the glucose value on Libre 3 updates every minute. With Dexcom G7 it only updates every 5 minutes. So you could maybe say that Freestyle Libre 3 is a little bit more real time but from my real life experience, you don't really see that big of a difference. Another thing to consider when it comes to accuracy is the ability of the user to calibrate the sensor readings in the app. This can only be done with Dexcom G7. Freestyle Libre 3 doesn't have a calibration feature. But overall, I think I'm going to make this a tie. One point to each of these sensors for accuracy. Moving on to difference number six, mobile apps. Both Freestyle Libre 3 and Dexcom G7 apps show you the glucose graph, your glucose number, glucose strand. They have customizable alarm and they offer overviews of your historical glucose data. This is all kind of a standard, but there is a lot more you can get from the G7 app. Few examples. With Dexcom G7, you can create two different alert profiles. You can snooze your alarms for 15 minutes up to six hours. You can delay your first high alert by 15 minutes up to a few hours. You can calibrate your sensor readings to your blood readings, and you can zoom in and out on a specific time frame, you can just do so much more with the G7 app. It's way more modern and way more customizable than the old fashioned looking and medical looking Freestyle Libre 3 app. And I will definitely talk more about the Dexcom G7 app in my full Dexcom G7 review, which will be coming up on my channel in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that. I would say that the only thing that the Freestyle Libre 3 app has over the Dexcom G7 app is the dark mode. Yes, Dexcom G7 does not have that, but it doesn't stop me from giving another point for a better mobile app to Dexcom G7. By the way, both systems have separate apps that you can use to share your data with your loved ones or follow your loved ones who have diabetes and who use these sensors. These apps didn't change from the previous sensor generations, so it's the Libre link for Freestyle Libre 3 and follow app 
for Dexcom G7. Now before we talk more about the price and availability of these sensors and before I tell you which sensor won this contest, I just want to remind you that I'm not getting paid by the companies behind these sensors to make this content. I'm not working for them, I'm working for you and if you want to say thank you just hit that like button under this video, it will help a lot. If you want to support me even more in what I do then you can join my Patreon community where you get direct access to me, access to my webinars, my bonus content and you only pay 7 bucks a month for all this. Difference number 7 is price and here is exactly what I did to compare the prices. I went to the UK website and found out that the 30 day supply of Dexcom G7 cost 154 British pounds. But Freestyle Library 3 doesn't sell over the country in the UK so I couldn't really compare this. Let's look at Germany. Here a 28 day supply of Freestyle Library 3 sells for 120 euro. But in Germany Dexcom G7 doesn't sell over the country so I can't really compare it either. The only way to compare them is to recalculate the Freestyle Library 3 price from Germany to an equivalent of a 30 day supply in uh, British pounds which we used for Dexcom and this comes to approximately 110 British pounds. Dexcom G7 is quite a bit more expensive. So that's a point for Freestyle Libre because many people have to pay out of pocket and if your insurance doesn't cover it this is a big deal. Keep in mind the prices might be a little bit different depending on your insurance coverage and the country where you live. So always do your own research when it comes to pricing. Difference number 8 and I'm sure this is something you're all impatiently waiting for availability and access to these sensors. At the end of 2022 Freestyle Library 3 is already widely available in most Western European countries and in the US and probably a few more countries that I missed. The Dexcom G7 is currently available in UK, Ireland, Germany, Austria, Hong Kong and coming soon to South Africa and New Zealand. The availability and launch dates of both of these sensors and the mobile apps for Android and iOS if you don't have access to them yet check with your local distributor. And now the big question which of these two CGMs is better? To be honest I don't really want to say one is better than the other because as I always say everyone is different and you just have to consider your own preferences and your own needs to be able to decide. If you're still not decided I've done a detailed review of each of these systems so click one of them on the screen right now and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao!